Hello, humans and otherwise. I am Adesia, and welcome back to my blind let's play of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. We left Colony 4 last time to head to Sword Marsh in the Ruby Flats, but instead I found the side quest, which happens to be one of the DLC quests. And now we must go full HD with this artificial blade, this, this game's version of Poppy. And my destination appears to be right down here. I would rather not necessarily fall because it might just kill me. Already got her class. But now we gotta. Oh, got power her up further. The, that curly branch kind of reminds me of the Nightmare Before Christmas. Because it didn't unfurl for me. That's what it was supposed to do. Go away, enemies. Let's rip all these enemies because they're high level compared to me. Saved by the cutscene! Francetti! Francerio! It's Ino Ino! So you please this punch that Ino Ino greets Caravan with present so soon. We just get in a fresh new shipment of Yumables and Nomables. Only too happy to share. Many thinkings. We'll have to ask Master Pond for shopping bonanza later. But actually, Ino comes today to discuss a separate issue with friend Sunny. Oh, what might be? Is it perhaps technician and caravan of friend Sunny that know how to improve HD Ether Cylinder Plus? Oh, ho, ho. do ears of Sunny deceive? You know, Ino mentioned that fabled apex of no pun technologi technological achieve HD Ether, Ether Cylinder Plus. Fable, he calls it. Ha ha ha, yes. Now Sunny understand assignment. Then please, can make use of service of helper of Sunny. Name of Totama. Yet admittedly a bit of a strange unlude lacking in Gavin from the Petter, but nevertheless skilled caravan mechanic. It, it's hard to read the Nopon dialogue. Friend Totama, memorized. Thank you for referral, Prince Sunny. You know, isn't any better. She speaks no pawn too. And also, while fluffing shops here, please accept this, you know, you know. Sunny's so sampler set. Sunny so just happened to have necessary materials on to hand, so more than happy to fob off on. Such generous! This friend sure? Everyone in Caravan would know how you know you know run around hither and thither, fighting to guard no pawn future and present. In highest honor for any no pawn to be able to render assistance. Oh, friend Sunny! You know, feeling such excess of happy, I bring you to dance any moment. Chance of dance? Sunny must join Eno Eno in frolic. Oh dearie me! The Cheerio must also cut rug. DJ Pond, play this tune. Sparks and embers. Um, you know, do you think maybe we can shell the celebrations as we're finished with the cylinder business? Meh, yes, Master Pond makes sense. You know, almost forgot stuff in movement. It hasn't even been a minute. Master Pond, we hurry now. We must get Totama to look at Slender. I see some relations have changed. <sighs> I was never too big of a fan of Poppy, and I'm not going to be too big of a fan of Eno either, but I'm going to do the quest for her. Hi, um, can we have a minute? We were wondering if you could help us. This is about an improvement to HD Cylinder, Ether Cylinder Plus. But right, exactly so. Would friend undertake? Give here. Now, what was it we needed? I need the sampler set. See, it's one of these. Hey, all done! HD Ether Thunder Plus successfully powered up! Alright, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks much, Master Pod! The matter is far from finish! Eno must collect much more high ether for purpose of restore itself to full power! For sake of bring peace and happiness to Nopon everywhere! Yeah, I know that. If we happen to cross any more ether spheres, we'll be sure to collect a high ether, for sure. Oh, yeah! I collect a regular ether too. And if we can get all the materials together, we 
we have the cylinders improved here again. Indeedly duty. Indeedly duty, doodle. You know, you'd be most grateful. The dialogue is so weird. What are the materials, though? Now, what was it we needed? Well, I have helix tubes. I may as well power it up while I'm here. Version 3.0. Because the more high ether I can grab, the okay, better, so right? We're handing over. Of course, now it requires items I don't have. I probably can't even get these yet, knowing how these games work. Ah, so do I need mechanical materials from Pentelus and Chemist Castle regions to improve. And also some from Condenser region, too. And basically, I gotta go all over the place for that one. There are side quests all over the freaking place now, but... Let's get out of this dangerous area. Yeah, like, our games always do that. It always looks so weird. See, when they're at a distance, they have so few frames of animation. They're really, really choppy. Ow. The difference between that and like a uh, dungeon in Persona 4, where it intentionally had a few frames of animation because it was meant to look like a really old game. I like it when games do stuff like that. That smarts. There's corpses galore. I've already taken care of them. Gotta collect all these uh, materials as I go. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, really? Ardons? Come on! No, I'm not cutting all that much anymore, but at least I'm constantly making forward progress in some way. Like what I was talking about in the last episode. Just die, you big ol' Arnon! I think it told me how to increase my interlink level either. Wait. Lizards and Tarkins. Turkins, rather. Affinity points for Colony 4. Or Nopon coins. And I'll say it's. Well, let's leave you two to fight. Sweet. Information! We got time to kick back a little. And Ether! Could not flap wings any faster to escape. Scary angels chasing little old me. No good to only flap wing like scary ferris. Try gem craft. Try craft gem and improve equipment. Fight back like Wolf. This is some story. Uh, the Arden. Uh, pretty sure they're uh, plant eaters too. So why are they hostile? We can't just leave this be. But we can, but I'm not going to. That's all. Where was that ether I saw? Huh. And 
Don't attack me, Arden. Although I certainly... Oh, come on! Oh, I could use the EXP as a fact. But yeah, I'm 19, they're 19. Look at all this thing with like level 20 plus enemies. And here I was just at the... No pun thing. This artificial blade. I know it might very well be my party for good. Die! I know the move is called Saber Strike, but according to the description, it's a smash attack. This is something decent, right? So why does it oh. why doesn't it send the enemy flying off of screen? Never go wrong with Samita. You know, I want to use a smash attack on it on the enemy, have them fly up toward the screen, collide with the screen itself, hit the camera, and then just fall off. You know, with the smash attack, you gotta use super, you gotta do a Super Smash Brothers. And uh, I got the information, but I'll worry about that. And there's a camp right there too, but I'm gonna worry about that another at a different camp. I've also got at level 46. I'm sure I've got EXP to use at a camp too. More ether and a lot of vaults. Oh, and uh, high ether too. I'll claim the ether here. Yep. But what am I gonna have to fight? To claim this particular ether. Besides this random Arden that decided to attack me for no reason. Now they being called Ardons uh, reminds me of uh, something that's pronounced similarly. That's in the MMO Jade Dynasty that I used to play many years ago. There was one particular race called an Arden. And they happened to be foxes, so of course. I used them. And in the uh, game made by the uh, same company, there was a perfect world that I played, and I used the Venom Master there, and they happened to also be a fox, so I played them. <laughs> I like how they did it in Jade Dynasty, because as you progress through your character, you start off it's like a really tiny fox, and then when as you uh, as you progress your character, you end up as a bigger fox, and you got multiple tails as well. So you were just blatantly a Katsune. You started with one tail, and got more as you uh, progress your character. I think it only went up to two though. Just end up with a really big fox with uh, two tails. And they use bows, too. As opposed to uh, magic with the Venomancer in Perfect World. I've played both those games for quite a while. They're both pretty pay to win, though, unfortunately. I wasn't really thinking it. I honestly wasn't really paying attention. This should be enough to give Eno a boost. Well, I'm not gonna worry about giving her a boost right now. What I am gonna worry about is heading this away. I wanna go up there from the list of things. I can. I will be able to do that. Frogs! They wanted, to call, they wanted to make frogs, but they didn't want to call them frogs, so they just changed the F to a B and called them frogs. Yep. Let work discovered as I'm fighting! Well, at least if I lose, I will just warp right back here. Right back on top of the enemy. Ah, 
Aye. Uh, that's a familiar move. When you fight the giant uh, toads in like Final Fantasy XIV, the giant toads, they have that same move. It, it makes sense. I mean, the frogs, or toads, whatever, or frogs in this case, and they do go for hopping, so they're big. So they're able to there and fall on you. What else would you expect them to do? Throw the heels! I bet they were getting low on HP, so everyone else is getting low on HP. So let's let's hit her link! Now everyone recover. I want that accessory. Like it looks like I have to get up there. Ah, I see you. Ah, I always press the wrong thing. Good. Right now, I am uh, playing the game as I would were I not recording it. Oh, then I'm just you know, doing commentary and such. This is the kind of stuff I would do normally. If I saw something, I would go after it right then, but I wouldn't specifically go for everything, search the entire map. I just decided to stop cutting the stuff out. But apparently, people want to see all of this. It certainly makes it easier on me, because I don't have to edit as much. <laughs> Considering how many uh, characters, how many hero characters are still available, how many different classes, it'd be funny if I could actually get all of them in my party at the same time. I'd say we were moving in sync, right, Kyle? But then uh, my UI would look like a World of Warcraft player. They have like a billion add-ons, so their entire stream is just covered in that. Such is the Officer's duty. Except in this case, my stream, my entire stream, would be covered in character health bars. Yeah, it looks like the way I have to go. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. I probably am going up there anyway. But I can't go, you know, all the way up there. Up or whatever that thing is in the distance. These are always accessories, even though I've basically been ignoring accessories for the longest time. I equipped the ones I did at the beginning of the game, and I haven't touched them since, really. I haven't even done anything with gems past the beginning part. I don't think I can get out, get out that way. And so far, I haven't really needed to do any of this stuff, either. I'm sure I will eventually. Oh, I know I will eventually. I should say. There's no doubt about that. That chest is probably above me. I can see stuff up there. There's no doubt I'll be able to get up there. Huh. I was gonna say, these things kind of remind me of capybaras. And uh, their names, uh, yeah, kind of said, that's basically what they are. It's starting to get real hungry now. Well, same here. I could eat a triple helping of Manana's cooking right about now. 
Well, we didn't stop at the last campsite. Let's stop at the next one. Hey, over there! If you set up camp there, we'll have good visibility. I guess time we took a break? We go for one. Want to rest anyway. We let this walking and his left leg is like numbed out sausages. Sausages indeed! Heal time is here. Sounds good. And they were just talking about they're hungry too. Let's go for it, I say. Should we rest in shifts? I can take essential duty first. Ah, Mimi, let me back you up on that. Okay. Let's take a break there. Thinking. Those guys are so selfish. Selfish how? You know what I mean. Every time we interlink, they're the ones taking the lead. And me, all I do is watch. Oh, that's what you mean. Tell me you don't think so too. Maybe not selfish, but like, hey, why didn't you move that way? And stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, right? So you'd prefer to take the race? That's the issue when you got two minds and one body. I just want to do more. Like, pull my weight. You know? How much do you weigh? <laughs> That's so you, Senna. I think it's probably fine, though. They're just being protective, I think. Like what Noah said? Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure we'll get our turn. You sure? Yeah. Positive. You don't feel like maybe been here before? Or maybe not? I don't know. I might have been in the in an area that's basically this back in Xenoblade like Chronicles 1. <sighs> or hell, maybe even two. So this is both worlds at the same time. Oh. What? The heck was that? I mean, yeah. The icon kind of did suddenly appear. Huh. Huh. Opportunity's too good to pass up. I say we retrieve it. Huh. So do I. Don't worry, Lons. Let's go get it. Are you alone, Arden? And where are you? The unique ones are the ones I'm more interested in since they don't come back. I've only killed, what, one of those so far? Don't see too many of them either because they're, well, you know, unique. I wouldn't mind if we just yoink the stuff. I'll need a hand here. Again. Of course. A hand. Why are you using two? Oh no no! Go away, Arden. I don't want you. I'm going in the fight, Arden. Yeah, I need the EXP. But yeah, I should stop by a camp and use the bonus EXP I've got. At this point, I might be able to hit like level 22 or something. Yeah, this is one of those games where you can just like, just by using the power, it gets more powerful. But just getting points as you kill things and leveling it up that way works just fine as well. And as long as I can power it up, that's what really matters. 
one big issue I have with Final Fantasy 13, and I'm playing that, was that at the beginning of the game, there is zero character growth for the first few hours. And that is like the most annoying thing in the game. Besides, you know, the endless corridors. Yeah, Final Fantasy X was linear as hell as well, but it felt different for some reason. It didn't seem as restrictive as it did at 13. Even though it kind of was. It could have also been because uh, I hadn't I, all, I hadn't known anything about Final Fantasy X when it came out, maybe because I bought it on release day. Uh, <laughs> but Final Fantasy XIII, I didn't get to play for many years after it was already out. So my perception of the game was probably pretty negative because of all the uh, talk about how ridiculously linear it is and all that. So I already had a bias. Then again, I had a bias against Undertale as well, and we know how that ended up, so... So now, how do I get up there? I have to go all the way around, don't I? What kind of place is this? Yeah, I do. I have to go all the way around. That kind of reminds me of Prison Island in a way. The formation. I mean, I'm certain it's not, but it kind of reminds me of it. Huh. Is that what I think it is? I don't know. What do you think it is? Or maybe not. There's a saying, is that what I think it is? Tell me what you think it is. So I want to know what you think it is. Elsie Spout is just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Yeah, up a cliff. I mean, Lance and Senna can climb this, but me, hard pass. Well, we are climbing. Oh, how convenient vines. It's another one of those situations. What if those weren't there? How convenient that they exist. What if they didn't? Probably shouldn't be climbing up this one, huh? But this is the route Ethel told us to take. No question. Well, I guess that means... We'll just, uh, have to keep going then. Hey, Valdi! Where are you? Huh? Outside the colony. Well, yeah, I know that. It's bad. The console's searching for you. Gotcha. Just make up something. Sorry, make up? Let's look for a place we can climb from. I'll take a look around here. Okay, I'll check out over here. I mean, you got the purple vines, you can just use those. Yep. Guys, get back! Ouroboros, fight me! That was close call! Ah, sorry. Apology grudgingly accepted. Hey, are you Ouroboros too? Factually untrue. Manana is just Manana. Ah, that's a relief. I really didn't want to have to fight a Nopon. Oh, Valdi, by the way. Well, if I may. Nopon are willing to fight. Is this what are you guys doing? Yeah! Woohoo! That was awesome! 
awesome. We're the ones you got beef with. Come on, bring it. <laughs> you can't beat me. Here I come. Yeah, it's like they don't need to be controlled now. They've been specifically told, hey, go after them. Oh, hero quest. This is kind of part of the story, too, so. <laughs> I didn't have any choice but to do this. Strange, come this shoulder, soldier. Let's three, come this unit. Maybe we should take down this thing, eh? Get rid of it because it's below the line. Team. I love this music! I'm just really enjoying this game. I should be playing more Nexomon, but I just keep playing this instead. <laughs> Nexomon, too! I like that I'm playing two really good games at the same time. It's really enjoyable when I do that. And it's not a game that's just, yeah, it's okay, or whatever, but no, I actually like, this game is really good. I love it when that happens. Go down! Sheen attack is ready! I want to get rid of this thing first. Yeah, you need to down though. Yeah, I turned up focus this next, didn't I? <laughs> Could use some healing though. I have to go down so I can use a chain attack. It's a boss fight after all. Music says it all. Yeah, when I was going through the game, I was trying to decide what music I should use for the outro, I couldn't decide for a while. Now, there was one song I decided on, but then I couldn't find... Uh, I looked at the game soundtrack and I couldn't find a particular song anywhere. And I didn't want to listen to too many songs. I don't want to hear any music that I haven't already heard in the game. So I consider music to be a spoiler. I don't want to hear any songs that I haven't already heard by playing the game. So I just ended up choosing this song instead, obviously, in the end. Kion's down. Self KO. Out of all those thousands. The 
increases damage ratio by 150 percentage points. Not that I'm going to be able to finish it, really. The Guys, well, obviously, this isn't going to be enough. Close. And I almost won the fight anyway. There. Guess it's time to plan the day. Whoa! The joints were all burned out. And the state of this armor. Hey, show me that again. Show you what? Those moves you pulled. I've never seen anyone smash up a leaveness like that. I need to figure out how you guys managed to do it. Nothing to observe. The frame was structurally poor, evident that driving wheel could not withstand torque. The driving wheel, you say? I wonder if it's because it was upgraded from lightweight to a more heavy assault style. Possibly. Did I mess up the handling? But the armor had to withstand a charge. I had to fudge the weight to keep a good turning circle. Uh... <laughs> You're absolutely right. I can't believe you could tell with just one look. Hey, would you teach me everything you know? Noah? Uh, who exactly are you? Oh, I'm Valdi, Levinus Builder from Colony 30. Oh, Colony 30, so there are at least 30 colonies. I heard that anyone who defeats you gets a whole buttload of supplies from the castle as a reward. But, yeah. You won, so it's all good. Oh, yeah, everything's just hunky-dory. What the stuff are you playing at? Not playing anything. You're really a mechanic? From Colony 30? Who's the commander for that one again? Oh, yeah. That would be me. Oh, uh, you! Pull the other one! <laughs> wow. Don't look so surprised. I know, you are you look like you just created not too long ago. I did hear that Colony 30's commander was the greatest mechanic in Keves. Not sure I would say greatest, but I am bonkers about Levinus's. Valdi! Hey, Zep! What's up? Surely that's my line. The Levinus signal just cut out. What happened? Oh, it just got a bit bashed about. Everything's fine. I'll be back home soon. You're going back alone? Huh? I... I was just wondering how you expect to manage that. Oh. Oh, it's fine. The colony's not that far away. I'll just cannibalize these bits and pieces into a new level. Quick as you like. That takes so much salvaging. I know, right? <laughs> oh. Maybe I can't do it alone. How did I know it would come to this? <laughs> <sighs> Guess we'll do your grunt work. All right, hit us. What's the shopping list? You'd really help me. Well, we're not going to leave you alone to fend for yourself. Thank you so much, large man. Even though you did come here basically to try to kill us, you're like, eh, you won. Nothing personal, I was just, you know, we get stuff for beating you, that's all. I've got nothing against you, personally. <laughs> lands, man. I mean, lands. Then lands I shall call you. Let's get cracking. I'll send the likely sites for debris to your iris. Well, you'll step early, join the party. Now the question is... Good to add more names. Can he be in my party at the same time? More colonies added. That's one thing I wanted to know. How many characters can be in my party at the same time? Huh. Like, can I fill the entire screen with nothing but HP bars? Whoa, Wait, I've got a rare dude right here. Using that device should allow us to proceed. Yep. I think you operate it like so. I'm on it. That's the way. 
That is the way, Mio. We can't just leave this be. Will the game ever explain what sending actually does? Or what not sending huh? does? Hey, did you guys hear something? I really like to know. Let's use this. Yes, let's use this. And of course, I am going to complete this right now! If we can get more characters in my party and unlock more classes, I'm going to! Like I said at the beginning, I'm no longer separating side quests and uh, main stories and videos. Obviously, I've been doing side content the entire time. This is not that far away. I don't want to have to deal with you. We might find a nice hall where we fought before. Huh. You're a bit too enthusiastic about this. Didn't that one come from your place? Yeah, this is looking good. But man, even so. Seeing all this leaveness wreckage, that's how a battle always feels after. Just sad. Yeah, death everywhere. Yeah, pretty tragic. Makes me want to fix them all right back up. Look here, you. Listen, I had this injury once. It really did a number on me, physically and mentally. That's what my master pond told me. Wait, master pond? Oh, it's Nopon for a really great person. So, anyway, my Master Pond told me this. Be a friend to all and an enemy of none. Be a friend to all? Yeah. I guess after that, seeing Rec Levinus's got me thinking about stuff. A little elbow grease, and I could just get them back on their feet. I don't think you're gonna get this one back on its feet, though. And this ain't just a pile of wrecked parts. My pals here wouldn't want me to give up on them either. <laughs> You're very sweet. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's just that, as a mechanic, you can't start getting moody just because something's broken. Well, no. Mortal wars are fought on the battlefield, right? Yeah. That gauntlet. Valdi built it myself. This, my master pond gave this to me. To celebrate my recovery. Caught your eye, has it? You want to see more? No. No special interest. Come on. Don't be shy now. Riku is not shy. What I'm getting from all this is that you really like this master pawn of yours, huh? Yeah. He was really harsh on me sometimes. But he was ten times the mechanic I could ever be. If compared master pawn and Riku... Who is most excellent? Hmm. Good question. I think that your friend here has a keen eye. You know, I would love to get to speak with him. Secrets of Riku are closely guarded. You don't say. I can't wait. Friend even listening to Riku? <laughs> Elbow grease, huh? I think I get how Valdi feels. No, nope, don't want to fight you. I see elbow grease, but I've never really seen an elbow produce grease that you can use to do stuff with. I don't know if I want to use elbow grease for anything anyway, so it's kind of disgusting. Can you use it to lubricate machine parts? If not, then what good is it? How do you cook with it? Can I make french fries and elbow grease? Fried chicken or something? Huh? That noise. I think there's a lead 
Yeah, there's a lot of this nearby. It's right on, it's on the map. There's an icon there telling me to go there. What? A giant filth got in my way. This green mane, it, it kind of reminds you of the Joker. They're kind of like white skin and green, green hair. This Joker was a wolf. Where's Batman? Now, of course, more Joker's created clones. Definitely need Batman to deal with this. You can find out how Joker's making the clones and deal with it. Bouncing off. I don't need the Minato to fight these. I don't like the whole future sight mechanic that they had in the first game. Well, giant lasers there. We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. <laughs> I'm the girl with the gall. And the last one. After this turkey gets out of my way. Okay, both the turkeys. I want to unlock as many of these special glasses as I can, for sure. The nice of things didn't take so long to kill here, though. Oh, more showed up. A skeeter. Oh, the game's buggy again. I want to look at that cave too, but not right now. Now go away. Enemy reinforcements. I don't need to fight an army of turkeys. I can keep them occupied. This place looks kind of familiar too. Reminds you of an early area in Zelda Chronicles 1. What is this place? It's just where I stored some of the junk I've picked up. Can't keep it all at the colony. You know how it is. Yeah. I see. So you're recycling the parts as you deem necessary? Yeah. The supplies from the castle just aren't going to cut it. We have a lot of very particular mechanics and a lot of requests from the pilots to boot. We even get commissioned to repair the Levnesses from other colonies. Seems like awful much effort for not much reward. 
Not true. We're having a blast with it. I was gonna say, if you're having fun with it, that is the reward. Our Nopon are all highly skilled, and our lieutenant has a good head on his shoulders. Yeah, and he said lieutenant. That's it's obviously spelled lieutenant. How is that left? There's no F in that. Uh, remind me. What was it we were trying to do again? Picking up parts. There's a left tenant that has to be a right tenant. Oh, yeah, right. Well, for the body, I'd need... Ah, something like this. Yeah, that fits the bill. Is this guy really cut out to be a commander? He's a skilled mechanic for sure, but I imagine he gives his aides quite the headache. <laughs> yeah. Shall we deal with this? I'd rather not deal with that. Go away. On a fast travel. Nice. That should do us. Could be risky to work on it here. How about that place we were at earlier? The attack called double hit. At least it only seemed to hit twice. This isn't Pokemon where it's like double kick and it hits five times, or double slap and it hits five times. Double is two. Of course, Pokemon has never known how to count. I should explain why your items get multiplied in the first game if you get counted missing now. Thanks, guys. Looks like all the parts are counted for. A missing number. They can't. They don't know how to count. They forgot numbers. <laughs> this is enough to build levness. What wrong, Baldi? Spirits seem middling to low. <sighs> I thought that with Elevenus, I'd be able to protect my friends. That no one would have to get hurt. But just building them and fixing them up isn't going to make life rosy again. My pals just do as they're ordered. They go out, they fight, and they hurt people. And I'm the one responsible. That's how it works. If you're going to blame someone for causing all those casualties, blame me. Valdi is doing perfectly normal job of mechanic. Issue of orders, not your fault. But... This doesn't sit right with you, does it? So make something new. Why do you always have to make stuff for fighting? Why not try a different tack? Yeah! A different tack? Only machines just have to be made for combat. Like... a Levenus, but not equipped for combat. Obviously, I don't know the nitty-gritty. But I'm sure it's not totally off the table, right? This ain't the time to give up, right? <gasps> yeah. Lance, you couldn't be more right. I shouldn't be led by the whims of others when I make my sweet little mecha. Yeah, if you can just Thanks, Lance. really enjoy making <laughs> machines, make the kind of machine you want. You just don't have to just do combat only. I'll be back in a jiffy. It's done. I didn't take long. Oh, you can craft like Final Fantasy. Just bang, 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 and suddenly it's fully crafted. Oh, I, I didn't see you hammering on a ball of light, though. That's Alpha 5! Wow. That fast, huh? It's looking a little on the small side, no? Is that how you wanted it? Yeah. He wouldn't last long in a real battle. But he can follow simple commands. Right now, his only directive is to take care of me. But that's just fine. He's a good guy. Right then. Guess our job here is done. So? Yeah, don't worry. I can get back home just fine on my own. Oh, Gammon Blast. And I came all this way. <gasps> uh... A console. Yep. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Ouroboros. Ah, fear not. I have no interest in stirring the pot. 
I was simply curious as to why our dear Valdi hadn't returned. You promised us you would build the ultimate Levnis, did you not? How much longer do you expect us to wait? Ah, you agnian dogs! How I shall delight in crushing you beneath my boot. About that. Actually, I've decided to... How many times must I say it? Games are for winning. That's what matters. Consider. If we were to lose the initiative, we would be the ones trampled beneath their boots. Yes, but... <sighs> Valdi, my boy. Who was it that said he'd be fine? So long as he could tinker away with Levnisses. Because I clearly remember those words. If you've got time to be flapping those lips, you've got time to be working those hands. Should you fail in your duty, I won't be held accountable for what happens to your friends in the colony. Uh, do what I say or I'm going to take it out on your allies. Snuff you, asshole. The more that comes out of your gob, the more I want to smack. Understood. I'm heading back. Valdi! Don't worry. I've made up my mind. Ultimate Levness, he said. I'm a little worried now. That console certainly didn't seem like he had ultimate power as a Q. He didn't sound like John Delante either. It's unlikely to bode well for us. Ideally, we'd want to prevent it being deployed in battle. Oh yeah, there's that too. But I was more worried about how Valdi feels. He said he'd made up his mind. Doesn't sound like he's gonna be finishing his ultimate anything to me. More like... He wants to destroy it. Huh? It's going off on its own. It's following Valdi. Adhering to directive of protect. Noah. Yeah, we're following it. Good to add more names. Oh, oh, it's gonna conveniently wait for us. I see some to follow it too. Yeah, relations always change. It's gonna constantly happen. But we're gonna have to follow this thing on the next episode. Definitely been a long time for this one. I was expecting you to have to climb up that, but then this is the main story that I'm doing right now. I have to do this quest. Uh, I should write this all down. Yeah, write it down in your little journal there. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if for whatever reason you want to talk to me, you can find me on Discord in the link in the description.